Hey YouTube, good morning again. Uh, so I'm gonna do a um, unmarked roads comparison video. I've done this a few times and this is version uh, 10.11, uh, FSC beta 10.11. We have a flashing yellow here with a wide open scenario. Let's see if the car goes for it. It has a car there going kind of slow, but very nice on a flashing yellow. Railroad trikes right here, a little bit fast. I had to hit the brakes just because of the speed. It didn't recognize as a speed bump. But this is Birkenhead Road. It's an unmarked, meaning no center line, single lane road with two-way traffic. And uh, historically, it's not quite biased enough to the right with the drivable space here. Okay, I've got a kind of an unprotected, needs to kind of creep. It needs to creep here. Okay, it's clear. And then it's in the road before it commits there. Just a slow creep around a bush. Um, you should be able to see that in the uh, 360 view. Speed bump that never got identified there. Um, for those of you looking at my videos for the, you know, relatively new, I've got a new um, G meter in the left side of the screen I'm overlaying. It's a three dimensional G meter, meaning that, you know, forward, uh, you know, lateral, longitudinal, and also vertical. The vertical acceleration is uh, by the, the uh, dot getting bigger. So here we have oncoming traffic and I need to get to the right. And, um, okay, see that? I had to, I had to disengage there because it was just staying in the middle of the road. Um, and that guy was kind of like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, the car wasn't using all of the space to the right. And here we got another car. Look, it just, it's waiting here. And, and he went way around me when I'm just kind of hogging the road. Now, if you look at the screen, it looks like I'm using the full road. Um, I should be able to show a couple times what the, the right side looks like with the uh, right repeater in that situation. Very cautious here. Still kind of biasing to the middle, making that car go around me. Um, oh, okay, now look at this. We've got a truck here. And look, I'm, I just dove into the middle of the road. So I don't know why it decided to use the left side of the road when there were obviously it was a very large truck coming. And I actually had to get all the way to the right that time to let him by. And now it won't let me engage because it thinks I'm on the right edge. And here's another speed bump. Let's see if it marks that one. Nope, didn't identify it. And now I'm biasing to the middle of the road with a truck coming again. Now it's stopping. Okay, I need to get over. Yeah, so exact same behavior as 10.10 .10 and 10.10.2. Um, oh gosh, looks like we have some emergency vehicles here in my a turnaround spot um, yeah this may not be the best scenario for me to be here I uh, hope nobody got hurt but just so you can see that on the screen uh, there's three police cars an ambulance and a fire truck and a disabled vehicle right here to the right um, gosh it it looks like they might have been trying to make an unprotected right turn there meaning like out onto a busy street Ironic with what we're testing right here. All right, let me uh, get a return route here. Okay, I've got the right of way there. <laughs> that car did not. Thinks I'm on the red line. I'm not. I need, won't let me engage. I've got to get off of that red line and now it'll engage. So, I've almost got to put myself in the middle of the road for it to, to allow it to engage. Okay, we have an oncoming truck. It needs to get to the right right now. Get to the right. Man, just wasn't getting to the right. Okay, well, this is probably going to be a short video. I don't think I need to demonstrate this uh, even more. Maybe I'll do a few breakdowns showing the repeaters. Um, as a breakaway on this one. I don't want to interfere with the emergency vehicles down there. See if this uh, sunlight lit speed bump gets marked. Wow, speed bumps aren't getting marked today. I wonder if 10.11 lost that ability. Interesting. I am in the middle of the road pretty much. Okay, it needs to creep and it didn't really creep. Now I'm in the middle of the road. And it stopped in the road and now it's continuing okay it pulled towards that car rather than away from it um and as soon as i engage it wants to go to the middle of the road 
which is okay with no oncoming traffic. I don't mind that. It's when there is a traffic coming, the speed bump here, okay, and it didn't slow down or identify it. A little bit of a regression on speed bumps for sure. I would say the behavior is identical uh, with the road biasing to the, the center of the road. Nice, it's creeping, it's creeping. I'm in the road now, it might as well go. And now it's starting to accelerate. I'm completely across the road. Um, interesting. All right, I'm not gonna go all the way to the end of the um, road, most likely where the emergency vehicles are, but I will try to go down a little bit. Somebody noticed on my last video, do you see these little green markers here? These are little fiberglass uh, rods that people put in their yard so that cars won't uh, drive in the grass and create ruts, especially when it's wet. The Tesla cannot see little things like this uh, very clearly. Um, I don't know if you can see, I'm just creeping here and my car screen looks like I'm right on the right edge. Um, and and, and as soon as I engage, it gives a nice bias to the middle of the road. This stop sign has a white line. It's not marking it here either. Slow creep here. Clear left and clear right. Okay. In the middle of the intersection, needs to commit. All right, another speed bump here. Huh. Speed bumps might be gone from this build. Interesting. Pretty much the center of the road. A little bit of a bias to the right, I'm clear. Yeah, I haven't had to deal with any traffic here on these stop signs yet. This speed bump right here is very well lit. It should see that. Yeah, yeah and that was me tapping the brakes to try to slow it down. Won't engage when I'm over to the right, when I'm at the right. Nope, same behavior. All right, as soon as I engage, it moves over to the left a little bit. Okay, it's wide open here. Actually, it looks like the emergency vehicles may have pulled away, so I think I can go all the way to the end to make one more lap here. All right, it's, it's almost like when that car gets in view, it puts itself in the center of the road. And, yeah. It ought to, if it's going to stop, just pull over as far as you can. Don't just stay in the center of the road and stop and expect everyone to go around you. Yeah. All right, these cars have blinkers on. And it's not recognizing the blinker. So I had to take over there because that gentleman there knew I had the right of way. And he was letting me proceed. Um, well, it looks like the ambulances and the fire truck have left. But the police cars are still there. Yeah, so all these cars are actually having to take a detour because of the blocked road. All right, it slowed down for the speed bump that time, but did not mark it. That's probably what's been going on. I haven't been paying very good attention to the speed, but it's not marking the speed bumps, but that time it did slow down for it. All right, middle of the road again. Like I said, no oncoming traffic, so I'm not hurting anything here. It's just if there was a car that was approaching from a, a turn, I would have been in the way. All right, now we've got a car at the other end, a speed bump here. Oh yeah, it is definitely slowing for the speed bumps. They're just not on the screen anymore. Now here's an oncoming car. I need to get to the right. Okay, and it, it's almost like it doesn't know how to get to the right. Um, yeah, that needs some work. I'm gonna just make sure I mark at least one of those. This whole video is gonna go to Tesla, so they're gonna get the whole thing, but so the data capture upload has a couple snapshots in it. Needs to get to the right. Come on, get to the right, get to the right, get to the right, get to the right. Yeah, there's another one. Okay. 
Well, I think we've identified um, the same behavior. Changes, it's not marking speed bumps, but it does look like it is slowing down for them in the same way it was before. The road bias is still a little bit, has not changed from 10.10. It's in the middle too much. Um, it it kind of wants to stop for let, to let cars go around it, but it's not using the full road uh, to get to the right to let them go around you. And um, yeah. So anyway, well, I'll keep doing this on each build so we have some good comparisons. And um, you guys leave your comments below and let me know what you think. Uh, obviously, the interesting it stopped for that railroad track that time, but I don't know if that was intentional or not, or if it's stopping for the red light. That would be great if that's stopping for the railroad tracks, but it was obviously underneath the crossbar, not the perfect spot. I'll go ahead and let this run through the uh, right here on red. Looks like we're going to have a gap coming from the left. It can go in the right lane if it wants. Now it's completely open in the right lane. It should go. Let's see if it does this right on red nicely. Give it a little boost there and stay in the right lane. Good. That was nice. Um, yeah, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Have a great day.